Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Allen Company. It's Tuesday, May 2nd. I'm gonna go over the markets with you for the day here. Turnaround Tuesday is really what it looked like, hoping not to see it, but that's what you saw. Corn down about five cents, beans down one and a half. Wheat market, both uh, Chicago and Minneapolis wheat lower. Kansas City, the only grain being able to find some support here, up about two cents. And where that comes from is there's very, there's a lot of talk right now of a lot of winter wheat that has been um, completely ruined. So uh, it looks like there's a a lot of damage done to winter wheat. Some areas saw 28 inches of snow here in Kansas City. Uh, so a lot of that is just going to be too much for winter wheat to handle. Usually winter wheat is very resilient, but uh, they've been pounded with rain and snow. And so they look like they're gonna get hit once again um, over the next two to three days as well. And so that's where I was able to stabilize against the others. Otherwise, grain's just not able to muster up a whole lot. Biggest activity came into meat markets today. Cash trade came in hot. Once again had those meat markets take off both live cattle feeder cattle lock limit higher for a while everything lifted off limit higher except for uh, your front month live cattle which eventually did close off limit up to 85 the rest of them kind of fell down to about 50 cents higher uh, feeder cattle locked limit 450 up higher actually lifted off of that so they only closed up just over a buck there and then lean hogs front months up deferreds just a little bit weaker outside markets crude got another pullback down about a buck 30 other than that stock market and us dollar just a little bit weaker uh, moving forward, what we're gonna be watching is just to see how these systems pan out over the next two to three days. There's a lot of rain coming for the Eastern Corn Belt. Talk about some flood hitting the Mississippi. Talking about even shutting down the Mississippi for a little bit, that could hurt basis levels and see what's to bring out of those. I do have to close with a disclaimer, trading in futures and options involves risk of loss. It may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.